Alright, welcome back to Battle Brothers. We are the Claymen. This is the beginning of yet another new campaign, for which, uh, I apologize for how badly it went last time. Um, but hopefully this time we will get through it and, uh, get beyond where we've been before. So, uh, we've seen this event before, but, uh, I've left it on screen there for you to read if you want to pause it. And we're going to our first village. Uh, sea camp. Hmm, cool. Uh, we expect to get paid. And this time, last campaign, I skipped the Hogarth mission just just because I hadn't done that on camera before. And I think it's, it's an okay option. But what happened last time and why I generally don't recommend doing it is I had a very hard time finding a new contract afterwards. And I really feel that even for an advanced player or somebody who's done it before, it's to your advantage to take the uh, Hogarth introduction, uh, introduction quest. Um, just because it guarantees you'll have something to do, and you need that money in the meantime. So, anyway, that's what we're going to do. And uh, I'm going to finish this episode when we finish that quest, so I don't know, hopefully this won't go too long, especially if I don't spend too much time, you know, blathering. And... Here we have, this guy has a hat. We're paying essentially 70 gold for his hat. And he doesn't even have a knife. So I'm gonna hire uh, Gerald instead. And Anton, yes, because he is uh, fodder. Now, let's take a look at our first guys. Uh, this is not good. Eberich. You're not a good person. Uh, Optimist, that's fine. Oh, cool. Uh, and we have a tiny... <laughs> and it's appropriate he's a ranged person, because I guess I'll specialize him to be a ranged attacker. Um, we have a tiny dwarf archer. So, good. Now, one thing that's been mentioned is this is not a very good item to start off with. Um... It's situational. It's great for splitting shields, but the thing is, if, uh, the thing is, it's, hmm, I don't know how to say it. I don't know how to say it. I'm giving it to Anton. It's not something you give to a hardcore fighter. Now, this guy's amazing. If only he didn't have the peg leg. Oh, that's so bad. Oh, wow. This is great. Um, oh, I don't know. He's interesting. Uh, this guy, on the other hand, is terrible. This axe... Mm, this axe. I have complicated feelings about the axe. It's, uh... Honestly, I feel if you can find... If you can get a... Well, a hatchet isn't great. Shield damage of 8. Uh, that's not gonna take down a wooden shield. Um, it will take down a buckler, but if you can get a regular axe early on, um, I recommend them for sure Because a regular axe over the wood axe because the regular axe gives you more options. It will take uh, one round two attacks in one round to take down a uh, to take down a um, regular buckler like this one the regular wooden shield Right, so that means it does 8 shield damage, whereas uh, this one does uh, 30, right? But this only gets to swing once per round, but it'll crack a shield. But the thing is, is you can swing the regular hand axe twice per round and still take down the shield, but you have a weapon that has twice as many attacks and allows you more maneuverability on the uh, battlefield. It's just a better overall weapon, but... In the beginning, if you can play it right, if you have somebody who's just kind of a meat shield, this guy, I don't really don't know what to think of him yet. He's he's kind of weird. Uh, the club-footed is terrible. That's just terrible. But the thing is, is he gets he could get tons of fatigue as he levels up, which means this may be irrelevant. Um, and then you know, such a high melee defense too. I wow, I don't know. We'll see what he does. We'll keep him around. But uh, anyway. That's my feelings about the uh, wood axe. It's not a great weapon, um, but I don't have a hand axe available, and I'm not going to purchase the hatchet. So there you ha there you go. Those are my thoughts. Now, we've hired two men in this uh, village, one of whom is, like I said, terrible. 
We need to get more men, and we also need to visit uh, Stradikai, Stradeki. There it is. Okay, so up we go. And we have a nice uh, trading caravan going along the way. If uh, we see bad guys, we may just run back to the trading caravan. We actually might be able to get in a free combat before uh, we go on to our next quest. And that would be great. So yes, we are the Claymen. And uh, because we crumble, inevitably. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. See, with the with the bay being as it is, it's really inefficient to even use these roads. I expect we will be doing a lot of weird walk-on-water crossings in this game, yeah, or on this map. But uh, overall, I think it's I think it's an okay world gen. Uh, we've seen this before. It's just the story event again. I mean, not that the game really has a story, but... Okay, please make it in time. I don't want to spend the night outside waiting. Alright, let's hire. Well, let's just hire a tailor. And, you know what? We have never hired a eunuch. Hmm. He's a little expensive, though. Omar the Studious is a historian. Ah, we'll go ahead and hire the eunuch, just so we have different backgrounds. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, find some stuff to buy. We do want a shield. Uh, I will take... Hmm. Gambeson, padded leather, better take a hat. How are we doing? Three more days. Fourteen... Yeah, we're fine. Okay. Let's see how we can equip ourselves at the moment. Let's see how our new recruits look. Iron Jaw. Uh, okay, that's good. Superstitious is not good. And then we got this guy. Ooh, Eagle Eyes. That's great. That's... Um, not very good on his other skills, but regardless, that's... That's not bad. Um, okay, we've got our men down here, I'm going to give you that armor, I'll give you that armor. One thing I need to focus on this time when we play through is I need to get somebody ready to be a captain. That wrecked me. Um, Sergeant. Okay, he's not called Captain anymore, he's called Sergeant. Um, unfortunately, this is going to take a while to get to. It's going to need to be 1, 2, 3, 4, level 5. i got to get somebody to level 5, but I need to get this perk. Uh, allies at a range of 5 tiles or less will get 15% extra resolve. Resolve has become, in my opinion, slightly more important in this game than it used to be. Um, I keep getting, I mean, my last game ended because, uh, I ran out of resolve, essentially, so, yeah, I can't continue along that path, 46, 49, yeah, you guys aren't great, but you're the, you're the men I have, I... It's a shame. I think this guy is probably going to die. Alright, we need weapons. And uh, again, we'll be starting out using spears and shields. Unfortunately, we don't have shields. Uh, pitchfork, I do want to take. Um, bundle of javelins is a luxury I can't afford at the moment. Uh, next. Hmm. Let's go ahead and get a cap. 228. Let's get the tools and supplies so we can fix up a little bit. Because I think we're going to need them. Okay, you're going to be on pitchfork duty. And, yeah, that's right, we need to get you a weapon of some kind. It's going to have to be the spear. Alright. It's a shame. You know what? Let's give you the shield. 
and this guy is just going to have to deal with his life the way it is. Well, it's not great by any stretch of the imagination, but uh, let's see if we can take on Hogart now. Oh, man. Yeah. Enough for three more days? Well, then maybe we should take another cap. Ooh, that's gonna knock us down a bit. Let's just go. We'll do the best we can. Alright. Return to sea camp. I know a lot of people, well, maybe not a lot of people, but some people have been asking on the forums about a way to speed up your movement on the map. And, uh, yeah, there are certain times I would like it, but honestly, I don't think I would ever even want to activate it unless um, they implemented a feature where as soon as you see a mob on the map, like this guy, then the game would pause. Who is he fighting? I don't, I'm not going to bother finding out. He's finding something, but it's in the woods, and I'm not going to go in there. Something's going on up here. Uh, another thing we need to take care of is going into our options and gameplay. Always focus, always hide trees. Auto loot! Thank you! to my viewer who informed me of this option because I've had this happen twice now and uh, <laughs> I'm not a, we are not amused by forgetting to push the loot button all right we'll return with his head uh, and uh, anything in here again no not really uh, we could go ahead and get this cap for 39 and I will just because it's better than nothing so, you get to have a cap. Huzzah. Now, let's go find Hogart, and hopefully we can kill him. Hogart's Refuge. Yep, see here we're going to be crossing the water, which is something that I just, for aesthetic reasons, immersion reasons, I just really dislike doing this. But, it's okay, because I know there'd be bad guys up there, and I don't want to face them. Uh, I'm going in with not very many men. Not, yeah, I, uh, I'm not terribly happy about it, but uh, we'll see what we can do. Oh my, that's terrible. That's really awful. I can't believe they did this to me. That's that's miserable. Starting their archer off on high ground like that, they, you, as with the world gen, they need to put in some sanity checks with the uh, RNG because this is supposed to be like a kind of a tutorial part two, and uh, if you're a new player coming into this game, getting wrecked by the archer just because he has such a huge height advantage, that's no fun. That's really, that's not the impression of your game you want to give, is it? Like, anyway. I am playing on veteran though, so perhaps that means I shouldn't, maybe that means we don't have a right to complain because, you know, if you're a new player, you shouldn't start on veteran, so. In which case, I guess fair enough, but, uh, I don't know. I'm, I am not happy that their archer got the start on such high ground, but uh, we're just going to run back here and put ourselves on some high ground. Uh oh. Move our axe man back. Yeah, we have a problem. Perhaps. In that I may have flubbed his movement. Nope. Not yet. Depends on when he gets to go. Okay. I'm going to put him on high ground just to get a a little bit better advantage on the uh, attack. Go ahead and put him in there. 
Okay, good. You can get away, sort of. over here. His purpose is to move in and then chop. That's what he's supposed to do. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take this shot here against the thug. That's disappointing. Your wall. Okay. I'm going to leave you as is. Good shot. Okay. That's not too surprising. Uh, I am going to wait, and uh, I'm going to try to net Hogart. I'm trying to net a weasel. I will... wait. You... Let's move you. That archer is going to be getting in range eventually here. Just want to try to keep a little bit of control on the area. I'm going to put you here. So I want them to engage down here. Yeah. He could try to engage my Axeman, but it would require him to make quite a move. Yep, let's spear wall again. Okay. All right, if we hit this guy, it'll probably hit their morale. Um, and it'll also have a chance of hitting these two guys. Okay, that was not optimal. All right, so. Okay. Oh my god. Just wanted to take that guy out of the picture. Oh, that's so crap. Oops. Wait. I really just want to kill this guy. Come on, man. Oh, 
Oh, man. I know it was only a 30% chance to hit, but still. Ah, uh, things are going awful. Try to hit him. Good. Now yeah, just to deal with this guy. Okay. Um. You're still okay. Your armor's up and everything, so. In you go. Let's split his shield. Gerald will go up and try to take care of that archer. Although, uh, let's remember what we learned about archers. He's got repost, so I'm just going to stab him and miss, apparently. Because that's what we do now. Yeah, I'm not going to attack him while he has repost activated. All right, look. We gotta do something about this. Oh, that's so annoying. That's annoying too. Well, there went my bizarre, my bizarrely like idiot savant. Um, peg leg beggar. Good, good. All right. Well, that hurt quite a bit. We lost a lot of money out of that, too. We didn't even get his armor. Uh, we did get uh, the Amber Shards, which is going to be worth a lot to sell. So, anyway, let's go ahead and uh, equip our guys. So, that's really not very good armor, so I'm going to give it to him. And uh, we'll give this to you. And that is going to do it for this episode. Did not go well. That was not a good fight. Um, yeah. I, uh... I tried to rush. I tried to rush by going in and killing that guy who had a few hit points left, and so I left my high ground. And that was not that was not a good decision at all. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I paid for it by losing two of my guys, so there you have it. All right, we're going to take our student perk. Let's go ahead and level up. Good. I will take the range attack for sure. And uh, let's see. Ooh, initiative plus five. Yeah. Um, that's... This is a first. Did they... Oh, you know, I think I remember that from the patch notes. I think they've changed it, so... 
you can get a plus five on initiative now. That's, uh, that's interesting. Let's keep an eye on that. A plus five on initiative, because I want to remember the... Anyway, let's just keep an eye on it. We got a plus four on hit points. I'm going to take that, because we don't get a plus four on hit points very often. Um, and then with the range defense, yeah, let's let's do that as well. So we'll find out when we take gifted what our max rolls are now. So that's something to look forward to. But uh, anyway, thanks for joining me on this episode. We're going to head back to the sea camp. Oh, uh, Hogart lies dead. Uh, yep, time to get paid. Let's go. All right, so thanks for joining me in this episode, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye-bye.